Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy coming at you with the fourth place fellow team, Game Nation teammate. <laughs> Dom, bro, what'd you do at YCS Pasadena? Uh, I went X2 and Swiss, so I was around 8 and 9, and then I got fourth place. You got fourth place, you obliterated everyone, and you played the same very deck that I played. I'm sorry, Pendulum fans. What is it? Sky Striker Orcus. Boom. And I seen your list. It's amazing. Any shout outs you want to give before we go straight into the video? Yep. Uh, first shout out goes to Triff, oh, uh, thank my, you, thank my you. teammate. Uh, always a pleasure to hang out with. Uh, shout outs to uh, Gramps, uh, letting me stay with him in London and stuff like that. Him and JY. It was really great. He lent, he lent me cards and stuff. Uh, big shout out goes to Manav Duar. Um, I, I like brought the deck and the idea to our hotel room uh, Friday night. And then like we changed a couple cards and fixed it together. We played the same deck card for card. Uh, and he topped two, so that was really great. And then shout, shout, another big shout out to uh, Joe Bogley, who uh, sadly had to play in top 32. I also roomed with him, because that was really cool. Our whole room topped. Uh, and then shout out to uh, Jess, Jesse, Furman, Max, Bowden, you know, all, all the boys as usual. Sick, and the best team in the world, right? Game Nation, of course. Let's go! Best, best team, best sponsor, and shout, shout out to Ray. I love you, baby. I'll see you in a week. Let's go! Let's go. What do further do, bro? Let's get straight into your deck profile. Uh, for sure. So I played uh, six normal summons. Yeah. I, play, I played these five and uh, Reinforcement of the Army. Yeah. Um, these are really good. Map Magician is the best because uh, you like. It's really, really good with the striker cards because when you're trying to break a board, you can like summon it. It eats, it eats a hand trap trades. Then you can like crack it into something, draw a card, and then like play your striker engine afterwards. Yeah. And I, I played Shizuku, which is something. Um, yeah, you played Shizuku in here. Yeah, which is really crazy. Uh, only me and Manal played it out of all the Sky Striker Orcus decks. So it was like. Really, really good. It made like cards like Mathman way better. You could, like crack it, break break down a board, and then like double engage them on the next turn. So it, it uh, added like a new ceiling to our deck. And then uh, for the Orcus cards, play three Harp, uh, two Nightmare, two Skeleton, Wand, and then Gizmic. Uh, I'm like really iffy uh, about Gizmic in this deck because mm -hmm. we cut zero Boros for Shizuku. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, Gizmic just never really comes up. The only matchup is like really, really good in is the Salaman great matchup to because you have to like grind with them when they win the yeah. roll and they dweller you. Yeah. Unless you just like open like a busted striker hand. You never think it's decent. Would you cut Gizmic uh, for the? Would you save it for the reason that uh, if they cyclone or something on your top of, on your Babel and you want to go top of logic, just nightmare send it or anything like that? Yeah. So that's like cool. Um, like, is that to why have, you would to, want to save it? To have Gizmet? it for, like, the IP thing. Yeah. yeah. But it's, like, um... I don't know. A lot of the times, summoning Long Gear Suit was just better. And I I really hate sending this card with Nightmare. Because yeah. I, I want to send Wand. Like, yeah. you, you don't have Mermaid. You want to, like, make sure yeah. you can keep yeah. playing. Yeah. And right. it's, it just, like, doesn't get to your engine. That's right. the only reason. Right. I just don't like it because of that. Right. And for the hand traps, I played a lot. Yeah, Play three crow, two skull Meister, three phantasme, and two ash. Oh, and why this lineup specifically? Um, so two ash is kind of a weird number, but um, we me and I play two ash because we Multiples. we play the lower darkness, right? And uh, this is once per turn, and like because it's a fire, right. unlike all the other ones exactly. that are dark. All dark. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, we we can't cycle this one at all. So yeah. like hogs, if you see the multiples. Yeah. Uh, and then like we played these ones specifically um because they're they're all darks so you can yeah. cycle them with the lure you can like Greffer. they make Greffer better etc um and uh, those are all the hand traps we played in the main nice. deck. i like that play i like that my build moving forward i think i'm playing hand traps just like, like i was thinking about playing darks too but it's good to see that it, it done it was successful so of course uh and then for the spells um, three engage best card you uh, let's best go card, yeah um hornet Shar uh, Widow, Shark, and Burner. And you um, have to play this, right? Yeah, Burner Burner is just, like, really, really necessary because it makes it so when you play against, like, Floods, like Chocobo, et cetera, right. game yeah. one, yeah. it makes this card, like, way better. Yeah. And it makes it so, like, you don't have to use your skeleton 
to like revive Ding and set, right. send a float right. or something like that. Um, this card just like allows you to beat things better. And then like in the Orcus Mirror, it like forces the IP like really hard. And like the striker cards are how you break down the board usually. Right. Um, so I feel like playing more of them was really, really important, especially playing like additional targets with the Shizuku thing. So yeah. you, you can always make sure right. to draw off your double engage. So with the Shizuku thing, do you always end on the Shizuku, like with the Kagari or something, or do you just do it only if uh, your if math is uh, hand trapped? Um, there's, a, there's a combo with it, or if you op open a Hornet Harp, where you, you like search, it, search and engage, um, then I can show you at the end. Yeah, let's we'll show it out there for, for sure. sure. That definitely seems like a cool combo that would come up. And then up. it's like, it, it comes up a lot when you like don't open very well. Yeah. And you like just, it's like when you don't open very well, it's like you don't see Orcus or like dumpers or anything. Yeah. Or you just get hand trapped um, like badly on your uh, normal summon. So you just like double engage, go, and then like they have to kill you or they lose. Yeah, right. Um, so play three alert just for like consistency, uh, upstart. Foolish, this is a huge shout out to Joe. Um, I, I was playing an ultra that I pulled out of my bulk and then he told me uh, I could just borrow this one and play this one and it was crazy. I, I beat him game one and two in our feature Let's match go. with Let's his go. own Foolish and then he told me I could keep it as a gift. <laughs> That's it. And it's crazy. And then uh, Rota and then the last four cards are just the, the Orcus engine. Uh, we only play two return. Small because, uh, yeah, we, we only play like two Nightmare. So it was like, would, it was you ever play three Nightmare? No, I, I don't think I would. Like, it was cool with Barricade Blocker, but at the same time, like, you don't want to draw a Nightmare. Like, a card is dead uh, outside of, like, drawing Hornet Drones or yeah. Orchestrated Return. And you don't, you don't yeah, want, like, engage. you don't want to play cards that are only good with other cards. Right. Like, uh, this is not how you should build decks. Right, right. Makes That's sense. why I don't like brass. Makes cards, sense. cards really bad. Makes sense. Uh, for the extra deck, uh, that was 41. Uh, I didn't want to play Gizmic. Manav wanted to play Gizmic. And then, like, we didn't do a ton of testing Friday night. Yeah. So we just decided to add it in as the 41st card because we were unsure. All right. So that was whatever. I played uh, Kagari, uh, one Tezuku. Uh, Three Galatea, Long, IP, Unicorn, Phoenix, the Barricade Blocker, as uh, yeah. Triff was talking about already, Trisbania, this card is just crazy, uh, Bomber, Boral Sword, and Two Ding. The like, thing some people are doing is cutting Boral Sword for zero Boros in the regular Orcus decks, but I think Boral Sword is crazy in this deck because yeah. the, the, the Striker yeah. cards have always just been good at making Boral Sword. Like right. That's that's even how you killed like in the pure striker deck. Right. Like there's just no reason not to play that card. Right. And uh, for the side deck, we played two Nib and two Lancia. Uh, the reasoning behind this is we want, we wanted like uh, varying hand traps and like these these aren't darks as well. Right. So it's like um, when we put these in our deck, we have to take alert out of our deck because uh, we don't want to like draw into these. Uh, like if we get told to go first or. Yeah. If we go second and we do stop them, then like our alerts are dead or we have to play them blind and that's just not good. So we played a two and two. Um, you don't really want to see this card more than once. Yeah. And then this card, you, you like just want somewhere in your deck. Yeah. So you, you like, it's necessary. Right. Um, yep. And then we sided three call by agree because like the only hand trap that matters is Lancia. Yeah. And uh, you're just not getting Lancia at game one, so yeah. it didn't matter. Yeah. And uh, three twin, just for like back row decks, floods. And then um, we sided three in perm. Didn't main deck it, because it's like <coughs> conflicted too much with Phantasme. Yeah. Um, and, and Phantasme, we decided it was more important because of Allure. Yeah. We wanted our deck to flow better. And then uh, we played two evenly, because we, we felt like it was a really good card and we wanted it, wanted to play it. But we were also really, really nervous that Lancia. it would just get Lancia because, like, so. Anyway, uh, oh, oh, I got to show you the uh, Hornet combo, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you open, is it Hornet and or poor? Or Engage Hornet, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So 
You go uh, Hornet, summon Chiz, or summon Kigari, add Hornet, norm, normal Harp, Link, and then you summon Galatea, and then you can play the Hornet. Oh. And then you can summon Shiz, where nice. the Galatea points. Yeah. And then you can do the regular, the IP board afterwards, and then search engage. Right. Uh, as a follow up. Right, right. So that was like really, really good. That was the edge me and off head. Yeah. And did that come up a lot for you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like. Would you do you, a play like that when you had it when you have engage? So you would get double engage, or would you just yeah, use yeah. it to search the like spell drop? If you watch my uh, top thirty two match versus Joe Bogley. Yeah. It was uh, really cr This card was just like the MVP in in our match. Like he was playing pure striker. And then, like, I, I opened very poorly, like, game one and two. Like, I opened, I saw no Orcus both games. Yeah. Um, but I saw, like, one engage both games, and then one engage turned into two engages, and then I drew off both, and then eventually nice. get to an Orcus. And then, like, then you, then that's the really powerful thing about the striker cards and yeah. playing a bigger, like, uh, cards you can search, like the yeah. utilities. Yeah. Because, like, then I just, like, Shark Cannon and his Kigari, Triggered by Trisbania, got another engage, and then yeah. like finally got my Orcus card. Bro, deck looks amazing. Crazy. Can't wait to see you at Toronto Regionals as we're gonna conquer the whole event. Let's go. For sure. Bro, pleasure to have you on the channel. Everyone, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.